Hi everybody. I'm Pixie. I see you too. I see you in the cafeteria ready to go. And I just want to tell the adults that you can step in at any time and make suggestions and point and suggest, right? Uh, I'm not the only teacher in the room. You guys could be supportive. And um, to the students, I want you to know you don't have to have any experience to paint because I already drew the shapes for you. Because when you paint, it's the shapes, colors, and textures. Well, the shape is done. So all we have to do is the color and the texture, right? When I was saying how little tiny, little tiny marks makes a feather, right? Ding, 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 ding. And then of course, butterflies. And then look at my painting versus the drawing. Oh, more butterflies. So after we do a couple, we could do sm small little butterflies and fill in. Right? But these are just to get you started just for your brain. Remember when you were little and you had to trace letters and then after you did a letter, you're like, yeah, okay, I get it. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> I got cut off. I think our editing's getting a little bit. Give me one second. No worries. I could push pause. Okay, so we are... Um, going to paint the birds and the butterfly, and we have one teeny tiny paintbrush, and we're gonna do it in order. And the first thing I wanna do are these little sparkles, right? It looks like it's coming out of the birdie's heart, and then like that, but it's kinda of like a really skinny ice cream cone, right? It's not stars, right? It's almost like the bird or the that either the butterflies are sprinkling down on the bird or the bird's love and her heart is shining up to the butterflies. I don't know. It's a cute design, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to use the stick of our paintbrush and not the fluffy part. The fluffy part will go like this and we'll just make, an, we want this like a teeny tiny fingerprint and we just go like this and it goes and dot right so but we need white paint where's the white paint get the little white paint out oh, there it is right and we use our stick and what we what happens is the very first poke let me bring it closer so you can see like that's a first poke look how big and round she is but then i i hop away as far as i can still in a long skinny ice cream cone shape right but i go the first one is really thick because there's a whole bunch of paint on my paintbrush but then i jump away and i go oh, there's less paint less paint less paint until it's a tiny tiny little stick okay so let's just do like five of them and see if we run out of paint oops i spilled my white paint <laughs> okay so i just touch it with my paintbrush poke and it doesn't last very long it looks like there's paint on the outside but it only counts what's on the end and maybe well oh sorry get rid of that and then now mine looks like yours right and then maybe just land like right by uh the the butterfly stoink like that and then fall towards the bird of bird and i go down down zigzag 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 i got to her heart can you see them no nope, don't don't go in a straight line watch me watch i go dink and I go zigzag, boinky, 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 closer, closer, closer to the birdie, 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 like a zigzag pattern. They don't touch each other. Nope, they're not in a straight line. Nope. Bounce, 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 bounce. Away, away, away. People who put them in a straight line love math. And then I might go, Bounce, 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 bounce. And there, and then, so how is it shaped? Like an ice cream cone? So it's the butterflies, smaller, 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 smaller to her heart. And I could just put a few more, just with the, just the, the tiny, tiny, little, itty. I'm running out of paint. There's like no paint left on my paintbrush. I just put a few more, pull there, there. And they just float down, they float. Dink, dink, dink. But not in a straight line. We bounce like this, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Not a straight line. 
yeah, their star stars don't really go in a straight line. So you just go poke, poke, and then keep doing it till they, like, there's, it looks like there's paint on the outside of your paintbrush, but there, it's only, look, there's no paint on the end, on the end of my paintbrush anymore, right? So it looks like there's paint, but there isn't, because there's no paint on the end. So it doesn't matter what the side looks like, right? And then look, go up, 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 all the way, look, the top of your painting is jealous. It goes all the way up. And then what if I end up putting a butterfly on top of my stars? So I can have, I can have a butterfly there, even though they're stars. I don't care. I don't care. If I want to put one later, I could put another one. And then where does it stop? It st stops like it comes to a point, pointing at her heart. Yay! That was just for fun. Yay! Sp look at the sparkles. They're sparkling! Okay. Now we get to do our stick, right? So wipe off your, your little stick, uh, or this stick down here. <laughs> Not my paintbrush stick anymore. But I clean the end off, right? Because I don't want to get on me. So I just get a little paper towel. And I get a little pinch. Wipe that. And I need brown. <clears throat> but look at mine. I think I put the, uh, the, uh, look at mine's reversed. I think I put the, um, the, the, um, what's it called? The, um, stencil backwards, but doesn't hurt nothing. Okay, so it's brown with a little bit of white on it. Did I scribble the white in, or did I give the white permission to be brown pieces, white pieces, and tan pieces? All three. So I put them in long, I put the brown, and then I put long, dash, 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 dash of white. And how many color values do I need for 3D? Three. So they'll be brown, that doesn't get any white. And then they'll be brownish white, right? And then there might be some pieces of white that don't get mixed in. Fine, right? You want to see? <gasps> Dark pieces, medium pieces, and, and then I, a piece of white, and I just let it sit there. Because I'm after the texture, the roughness, not scribbling. This is this is like babies do. Babies scribble, right? We're going dash dash because we're interested in the texture that it's gonna make. Okay, and we have to do the stick first because look, her tummy, her her toes are on top of the stick, right? And her feathers could be on top, so we want to put the stick on first. Okay, so we get the brown, brown. And it doesn't matter how thick you put this. And do we really care about the, the Sharpie outline of our stick? Not really. I just don't want to see the silver Sharpie. This is paint over it, right? So I get my brown. Look what big cup I have for a little bit of brown. But that's what I have. So I'm going to stab my brown. And I can stab it hard because this is a teensy tiny paintbrush. And no matter how hard I stab it, she can only pick up so much paint. So I don't have to worry. So I just go stab. And that's all she can get. So, like, I have to be okay. No, just go poke real hard. And that's all she can pick up no matter what. So, just stab your brown. And let's get rid of the Sharpie because I don't like it. So, how do you outline with paint? Do you guys remember from last time? Since the whole stick is going to be brown, what if I land inside the stick and then my paintbrush will open? Whoop! like that and then I only stare at like one hair that's gonna slide on top of this on top of the sharpie the silver sharpie and um it, I just want the silver sharpie to go away but I want my stick to be smooth right so if I go like this and I go I just anywhere I lay it and I land inside my stick and watch my paintbrush she'll open whoop now she's big but now I'm gonna sneak up 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 oh <gasps> Now she's touching the Sharpie, and then I don't scribble. I push my paintbrush like a bulldozer, and the thick bead of paint just squishes out like a bead. And I didn't scribble, and I just got rid of the Sharpie. Look at that big blob. Can you see that blob of paint? I don't know if you can see it, but it's just sitting there. I don't care. Because the thicker the paint is, it's also got more of the brown powder stirred into the gel. So I know even just being thicker will make it darker. So I don't care. 3D, right? And then I'm all out of paint. So I guess I'm all done. No, I just stab my brown and get more like that and get a lot. And then again, I'm going to land inside my stick. Smash. Okay. 
<laughs> and then I sneak up. Oh, I got it. And then I push. Oh, this one's lasting longer. Look at it. Oh, it's going. And it's a little bit wiggly. How come? Because I have a human hand made out of blood and bones and stuff. So it can't be perfectly straight. But I've never seen a perfectly straight stick. So I don't mind. So I get more brown. And I go, okay, okay. Because I want all the Sharpies gone. So I just go smoosh. And what I'm doing is I'm outlining first. And the reason why I outline first is I usually don't, the human brain won't go outside the lines if I out outline first. It's a trick of my brain. My brain already knows this. So I go, oh, I don't know how. <sighs> yes, I do. Because as soon as I outline it, I won't go outside the lines. Okay, I did the top row. Now I got to do the bottom row. Okay. This is harder because I push down instead of up, and that's harder for my brain. But I and I can I have to do it so you can see too. Look how awkward I'm being. But I gotta go smash. Okay, now I gotta sneak down. Got it. And then I push. And just drive my car on the sharpie. One hair is getting. Oh, that was not enough. Not. I only went an inch. More paint. Okay, and I go. I go smash and I let one hair, bye Sharpie, I don't want to look at you. Ooh, that was rude. Rude to the Sharpie. I'm going to get suspended. <gasps> oh, my white paint tipped over. Stand up white paint. There. Okay, and then I'm going to, oh my, I got, oh, look at almost a little, all my Sharpie's gone. Wait, what's this one? The, get out of here. There, I got it. Okay, and then push. Okay, now that I outlined it good. How easy is it going to be to fill in? So easy. How come? Because once you outline something, your brain won't let you go outside the lines and look at how e I just go up, down, up, down, up, down. And I'm going along the same texture as the, the stick would be, like the bark. Not up and down. That's not bark, right? So I get my brown and I go like this. Push and pull. Push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. There, it was easy to stay in the lines because I had a whole, oh, I had all that outline protecting the edges. Now I'm gonna look for silver sharpie. Oh, there is some. I'm gonna get get out of here. I got it. I got it. Oh, in the tip. I don't like that. There. Okay, I got it. Well, a little bit of black showing is like 3D, right? Built-in shadow. That's pretty cool. Um. But it's not really 3D. I don't love it. I wish it had a little something something. So look at my stick again. Oh, I just put pieces of white on it and then I scratched it for the texture. Right? Oh, all right, all right. So, but there's brown paint in my paintbrush and I don't wanna touch my white with this. I'll get my, my white all dirty. So I'm gonna lick it off. No, I'm not, just kidding. I just get a paper towel. You all look up like, oh, no. I just get a paper towel and I just fold it over and pinch and just pull the paint out. And it will be enough. You don't need water. Just pull enough out so it won't contaminate all your white, right? <gasps> Looks like a little bunny rabbit. That's cute. Okay. <clears throat> Trip on me. Okay, now I'm gonna get some white. You guys ready? And this only works while the paint is wet. Once the paint dries, you can't do it right. So clean the brown off so we can go get white. Just give it a pinch with the paper towel. Now I'm gonna get white. So I'm gonna get like a little scoop of white. Not a lot. I already painted it brown. It's a brown stick with little white highlights. So maybe just on the end, I go, whoop. Okay, a little pull. Okay, that's too much. Okay, there. A sum. Just some, some. And then I'm going to drop it off. Everybody pause and look up. Watch. I am not going to put it in one place. I'm going to drop it off. You know those phone number dashes? But I kind of jump around like high, low, low, high, low, low. Dash, 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 dash. Oh, there's paint on the other side too of my paintbrush. Get it off. Get it off. Okay. I'm still in the stick. Look how much more there is right there. Oops. But can I tell white to calm down with some brown? I can. Can everybody watch? Everybody pause and look up. Watch me. 
Okay, so there's my little pieces of white. I'm going to push and pull them and try to make 3D. What does that mean? I need brown by itself that doesn't get any white. I need brown and white pieces and I need white pieces, which mean stop scribbling. You have to stop. Watch. Push and pull. Oh, I hit that one. I may or may not hit one. I don't know. Push and pull. Push and pull. Oh, okay. Push and pull. Push and pull. Hey, I got dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces. Oh, what if I mix more? I'll just get tan. No, I'm trying to make. Oh, that's pure. Oh, everybody pause and look at what happened. Too much white turned pure white. What could I do to tell white to calm down? Can I get a little poke of brown poke? And put it on the white and go, oh, 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 oh okay. I calmed it down with a little bit of brown. So I, do I have brown pieces that didn't get anything? Uh-huh, those are my shadows. And then do I have little tiny pieces of white? I do. Those are like little, little tan colors. And then I have, oh, too much white in that spot. I can calm it down with some brown. Isn't that fun? So did we scribble it together really hard? Like, <laughs> no. And then do not get more white. Clean the white off your paintbrush. And now push and pull it through your brown. Push, pull. Try to make brown and white stripes. And then you're watching the texture appear. Hurry, hurry, while the brown's still wet. It only works while the brown is wet. If the brown dries, then it's just white. Don't scribble. Put streaks. And they'll be like, oh, I put too much white. Add a little bit of brown. So, because we need pure brown pieces, brown and white pieces, and sometimes little pieces of white. But what if we keep scribbling? What do you get? What, one color? Wait, don't scribble. Everybody pause. Pull it through. Push it down, pull it up, push there. Nice long strings. And then look at your color. Do you have dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces? Could you add some more brown? And make sure you got, yeah, I got a dark piece of brown right there. And I have some light pieces of brown. But are we trying to scribble it together and make one color of brown? No, we could have just stirred that in our cup. If we wanted one version of brown, we could have just mixed it together. No, we give it permission to be dark in areas, medium area in areas, and light. Who had to go back and put brown? Were you brave and went, oh, okay. Okay, the lady said I could put more brown if I feel like I need it. And then you do it and then you're like, hmm, I like that. Okay, so you try it and then, and then you go, hmm. So if you watched me paint, would that make you a better painter? No. So you painting and making decisions and going, hmm, it's curious, look what it did. That is the moment that you learned, right? When you went, oh, I, I like the texture just made right there. And then I stopped touching it and I do like it. And, but what happens if I keep scrubbing it together? Arrgh, it's just one color and very boring and nobody loves it, right? Who, who thinks they understand that? That the texture of the wood is rough and we have brown pieces, tan pieces, and maybe a string of white that didn't get mixed in, I don't know. Very fun. Okay, so now when you look at Birdie. <clears throat> what? What? Okay, so there's turquoise, right? But what is turquoise? Uh, turquoise is like my medium. So if I have 3D, right, I have... Turquoise would be my middle color, middle, medium. But then I add white to make her brighter. But what do I add to make her darker? The dark blue. So it's 3D. But I asked the best part is not the dark, dark on her back. Nobody cares. It's actually in this halfway world where I'm going dash, 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 and I'm running out of blue paint. Inside my turquoise paint, I'm totally running out and it turns into these invisible blue ones. But look how white her tummy is. Super white. And then the next row is 
not very much white and then I run out of white exactly okay but you're like what I don't I don't get it well how about if we do butterflies first so we can understand the idea of paint before we do bird okay so because the texture matters on the butterflies so let's say I make this one or oh and I, you don't know how to make a butterfly? I, all I did, these are not, not, not as cute as these ones. How come? Because I actually bubble, I rounded out their, their wings a little bit. These are a little bit straight. I drew them kind of straight, but I knew your paintbrush was gonna round them out a little, okay? So let's try decorating some of them. So let's open our colors. Put the lid on brown. Bye, brown. We don't need her no more. But you can put these back in your plastic bag and take these home and play with them. This would make a cute little bear rock. You could paint a rock. A little bear rock. Okay. So I'm going to get what's, what makes my, um, my, my butterflies is orange, yellow, and pink in different combinations, right? Look how cute they look together. You want to know why? Here's the color wheel. Oh, okay. On the color wheel... Where are they? They're right here, right here, right here. Well, they where's Birdie? Birdie is right here. Turquoise, blue, and purple. Oh, so we're and then who's on the opposite side of the color wheel? Hmm. So our brain goes, hey, those are contrasted together. But I can't mix blue and orange. That would make brown. And then here's green and red are opposite each other. They'll make brown. Purple and yellow, they're opposite. They'll make brown, right? But we could be like this family versus flip this family for our bird, okay? So here's our pretty colors. So let's take the lids off so we can play with them. Orange, yellow, and pink. Super fun. And we're not gonna put the black parts on our butterfly right now because the paint's gonna be wet for a teensy bit and it will just turn gray, you know what I mean? So you don't put the little black uh, tummy on our uh, until the end. Otherwise, it will just mix in and be like, whoa, okay, ugly color. Okay, I'll let the butterflies dry a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna get my orange and then how much orange do I need for one little butterfly? Let's do this one, that one in there. So I just stab my butterfly, stab. <laughs> I'm stab my butterfly, I meant stab my orange. Stab my butterfly. No, don't do it. I go poke like that. Oh, and how come I don't have to be afraid of how much to get? Because it's a teeny tiny paintbrush and she can't get too much, really. Okay, but look what I did. I did the outside orange, but the inside yellow. But what happens when orange and yellow mix? Nothing really, but it's prettier to have the yellow in and the inside. So let's outline it. So I also don't want to, I don't really care about the Sharpie. So can I make this butterfly a little bigger if I wanted? Yeah. I just don't want to look at the Sharpie. And then look at how this wing is smaller than that wing. Hmm. Could I just adjust it right now and make them even? Sure. So I just go, okay. I just, bye. And do I scribble? No, because butterfly wings are smooth. So I just land and push my paint and pull my paint. <gasps> but now look how much I made it bigger. Ooh, that little, I better fix that little wing. That's not right. Let me get more orange. Pook. <laughs> okay, let me try to make the match. Oh, that's still too small. Can I go again and make it bigger? Yeah. Okay, there, there, that feels, that seems more right. And they seem like they're the same height. Okay, I did that better. And then her, and then they naturally have the smaller, like itty bitty little wings on the bottom. Okay, that's just like a W, that's easy. Okay. Well, with the black, I can see the black canvas peeking through a bit. I wish it was more shimmery, like turn on the light. So I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. So I just get the little paper, same paper towel, just another corner and just give it a pinch. And then I just wanna brighten the orange a little bit. How about if I put white on it, but how much white? Uh, Well, that's not very much orange, so 
Maybe I get a speck, a teensy tiny speck of white. Okay, let me see. Let me see how small I can be. Cause I just want to decorate a little bit of orange. Okay. Oh my God, I'm gonna be a tiny. Let me sneak up on it and be itchy bitty bit. Oh, it is itty bitty bit. It is too itty bitty bitty bit. Okay. Now you do it. And then, and then we'll just like, here's the orange. Just like put the white down the middle of the orange. Don't scribble it in, just go swipe. And I'll turn on the light. You wanna see? Watch. I'm just gonna touch the middle, down the middle of the orange and go whoosh. <gasps> it just whoosh, 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 whoosh. <gasps> it got, uh oh, I'm out of orange. I'm out of white. Maybe a speck more. I'm gonna get a speck. I have to get my paint. I want, it's a little shimmery brighter. I ran out. <gasps> oh. I'm literally getting the smallest amount of speck I can possibly get. And, but look at this side, didn't get any white, so I'm gonna go shoosh. Oh, just a little teeny bit of shimmer shine. Oh, so it'll look brighter against the black. Oh, high contrast, right? Oh, so good. But not the middles, because I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow in the middle. So she's more shiny. Okay, and then I clean my paintbrush because I wanna get yellow. But, and, and I don't want to put all this orange in the yellow. So I just go pinch. And this is our first butterfly. So it's our ugliest. Right? Because your brain's like, what? What are we doing? Why are we adding white? And then after we do it, then your brain goes, oh. But we have to be frustrated and confused. Then we think we understand. And then it's easy. Right? But we have to give our brain permission to be like, oh, I don't get it. Okay. Now the yellow. Look how much darker this yellow is. Oh, no way, because I added white. That's how I got it brighter. So I'm going to put the, and what if the yellow and the orange mix a little bit? So adorable, adorable. And it goes in the, you know, in the middle of her wing. You know what I mean. So I get, oh, how much yellow? I don't know, a scoop. A scoop, a stab, right? And if I need to get more, I can. And why did why do I have more space inside my wings? I'd done this before and I knew what to expect. You didn't do this before. So you're like, I didn't put so. And I just go, okay, and now I put yellow in the heart, in the heart of her, like in the inside of her wings. But look at the black show through because yellow is so see-through, but it's totally fine because what color is not see-through? White. And she'll turn on the light, shimmer, shine. Look at the black show through. Because they put just a tiny bit of powder yellow in the gel when they stir it. And then they go, okay, done. And you're like, uh, I can see right through the yellow. So we had a little bit of white. Okay, so I clean my paintbrush before I get white to keep my white clean. Get a little pinch. And then who's going to make the inside more sparkly, more bright? Right? So I get, I don't, I don't know how much. I don't know. I don't know how much. I will adjust as I need to. So just the middles, we already did the orange outline, right? So I just go a little bit white, mm, a little bit. I can always get more, but I can't get less. And look at my black showing through that looks so terrible. But watch what happens when I put a little bit of white, a little bit of white, a little bit of white, oh. And now I just softly, I can't scribble because the paintbrush is like a sponge and she'll take all the paint off too. So I just go touch, touch, touch. Oh, that's way brighter. Look how much cooter. It's so cute now. Aw, that's cute. And then why do orange and yellow look so good together? Because they're right next to each other on the color wheel. So we're not making any weird colors. But we can't put the black stem in the middle, you know, her little thorax in yet. No, because it will make... Put the white on there, it'll make gray. So we wait. Who thinks that's cute? And obviously we don't put any antennas because what black antennas on a black background, just pretend they're there, right? So we clean our paintbrush again, pinch. So who thinks the next butterfly will be really easy? I know, how come? Because, because now, what do we, okay. So this is a yellow butterfly. Right? That's a pink yellow butterfly with yellow inside. That's a pink and yellow and orange. And that's just or an orange. Oh, and then we can make more. Look at the itty bitty baby ones. Okay. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. So pick another one. 
Oh, look at that one. I drew it bad. Could you fix it when you're painting? You want to make it pink with yellow on the inside? That would, that would be cute, right? And we already know how because we've done it once. So now our brain's like, okay, I understand it. Let me see what I can do. So, and I get my pink where she pink. The best pink. Isn't that pretty? Hey, it's on my shirt. A pink. Okay, so I stab. I just, because the paintbrush can't get very much because she's a whittle. And then, let's see. Maybe this one, the one that I drew bad, so you can fix it for me, right? Because if it's supposed to be like that, then when I draw this, I'll just have to make it wider. But you could do that. That's adjusting, right? So I just go, okay, I don't want to look at the Sharpie. Bye, Sharpie. If I want to make the butterfly bigger, I can. Whoosh. And I don't want to look at none. Oh, that's all my paintbrush held. That's it. I'm going to get more. I'm going to stab my pink. Now, that didn't last me but a second. I need more. Okay. Now, okay, so this one's little, so I have to make her. Because that's still not right. I don't. No, it needs to be wider. Let me, let me fix it. Let me try. And I adjust it, and I'm staring at them, and I make a slightly bigger. No, slightly bigger. Okay, that's better. And I just keep looking at the, the first one, and I'm trying to compare. Oh, wait. Oh, no, now I made that one too tall. Look. If the, do I have to make this one taller so they match? Okay. <laughs> That's hard. Because you keep asking your brain, is that right? No, fix. Is that right? No, fix. And then finally you're like, okay, they're even. Okay. And then the bottom, whoops, I touch orange. That was, I stabbed the wrong color. And then the baby little, the little bottom ones, right? <gasps> wow, that pink is boring. Is she 3D? No. Could we sparkle her up a little bit with some white? So we got to lick our paintbrush off. No. Sickos. Who's trying? No. I just clean my paintbrush. Pinch. <laughs> and then, oh, I killed my paintbrush. I broke his, pulled his head off. Careful. <laughs> okay. But how much white? Who thinks, who thinks they got too much white last time? Could you get less? Who thought they got too little bit? And you could get a speck more. Because we never do. We just go, oh, I can adjust that. I can fix that. I change it. Okay. So let me try. Because last time I think I got too little. So I'm going to try to get a bigger poke. Oh, okay. That's nice. All right. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit more. And I'm just going to decorate it. And then I, I, I just drop. I First I drop it off. You want to see? Watch me. I just go dash, dash, dash. Oh, get off my paintbrush, white. Right? And then I'm going to get that. Look, I still have white on there. That's too much. I'm going to get it off. There. Okay, now I'm going to mix it in and go touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch. Oh, pretty. I feel like I went too much white. How could I calm down my, my white? I'm going to clean my paintbrush and put a little, like I did with the wood stick. Put a little bit of pink on that. I don't, that's a lot of white. So I'm going to stab my pink. And just see, could I calm that white down a little? Oh, it is pretty. Oh, okay. Okay. Because how many values of, of um, the color values do I need for 3D? Three. So pink by herself. Pink and white and maybe a string of white. And I go, hmm, do I like it? Yeah, I like it. All right. And then I clean my paintbrush. So I'm going to get yellow. What if yellow and pink mix together? What happens then? Nothing. It's beautiful. It's pretty. Pink and it makes this peach color. So don't freak out. Okay. So I'm just going to stab my white yellow. Remember how see-through she was? Right? So I stab it because it seemed like last time uh, I had a lot of yellow, but it was, I could still see the black. So the white fixes it, remember? So I just put it in the hearts of her wings. Ooh. And what if it mixes with the pink? Don't care. Because it makes this pretty, pretty color. Oh, touch, touch, touch. See it in the black showing through? Mm. I don't care. Well, that's not 3D. So I'm going to clean my paintbrush and get some white. So now that we've done two of them, who thinks it makes more sense to your brain? Add a color. 
add a little bit of white to brighten it a little bit, make it more sparkly, and let my colors mix on my canvas. Hmm, curious, curious, right? So I just, how much white do you think? I don't know, I'm guessing. Mm, we met, we guessed, and we get a little bit. I don't know. I feel like that's way too much. Do you think that's too much white? I do. I think that, I think I better take some off. Look in there. <laughs> I know it was going to be too, but I have experience. So I was looking at how much white that I was. That's going to erase all my yellow. I could tell. So now I'm going to decorate my yellow with my white. Oh, 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 now she's more shimmery and bright. And you can't see through, you can't see through to the black because white is called trans, is called opaque. Opaque is the word that means you can't see through it. Transparent is the word that means you can see through it. Windows are transparent, but tables are opaque, right? So the white helps me a lot. Oh, my pink and my yellow mixed a little. That's the party that made peach. I like it. I like it. Who wants to make more? And then who likes the texture? Are you making texture? Or do you tend to mix yours together and make it really soft texture? A whole bunch of touches makes it really delicate, delicate, and makes it real soft. But I like mine with a little lumpy texture. That's just me. I like mine to see my different colors. That's me. Okay, who wants to make another one? How about a pink one with orange? I don't know. We haven't done it. Should the orange, now you decide, should the orange be on the outside and then pink in the middle or the pink on the outside with the orange inside? How about if you decide? You go, mm, mm. Okay, so with, with this one, we didn't know what we were doing, right? Frustrated and confused. Then I think I understand. And now that you get it, what if you make your own decision, right? But you can only use those three colors. Remember the contrast colors between these and the bird, right? So like, oh, okay, okay. So I think I'm going to make mine, I don't know, pink with orange on the inside. That's how I'm doing mine. You decide, okay? So I'm going to go pink because I'm loving this pink very much. So, and, well, I drew this one a little better. This one could be whiter, right? When I'm trying to make them all even, I go, all right. Bye, Sharpie. Goodbye. But I stab my pink, because this is a way bigger butterfly. So if I stab my paint, it'll last a little longer than a teensy tiny poke paint. I'm making this wing right there bigger to make them balanced. I'm staring at them and I noticed and I was like, no, this one needs to be bigger than, hmm, that, hmm. I'm deciding. I'm making, hmm, I'm balancing with my eye. My eye is saying, what if I do it different? And then, of course, that's how you do it. What if your butterflies touch? Well, one's in front of the other one. We don't know. I don't know these flowers. I, I mean, I haven't met these butterflies. I don't know who's in front of who, who the boss butterfly is. Okay, now I'm going to clean my paintbrush and get wrong. Oh, I forgot to put the white in my pink. It needs to be sparkly. What am I doing? Clean my paintbrush. And then who thinks you'll get the just the right amount of white this time? I know, right? Because how many times have we done it? Like four times. So our brain's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. So I get a little bit of white and I'm like, hmm, I guess, I guess this much white. And then we're trusting our hand a little bit more. We're trusting ourselves. And we put the pink, the white in the pink, and then we mix it in a little bit. And then what if I put too much white? What could I do? Can I put pink on top? Yes. Right? Look how much you trust yourself. And you're like, oh, no, that was way too much. It's just turned white. Well, how do you tell white to calm down? A little bit of pink. How about your delicateness with your, uh, using the tip, just the tip of your paintbrush? Are you being very delicate? You're not pushing very hard. And how can we use an easel to make it stand up like this? Do you know why? If it was on the table, who, who thinks you would smear it with your hand like this while you're trying to paint? Of course. So easels are to keep our hands up and out of the dirt. Don't smear your paint. 
right? Look how, and your shoulder will get a tiny bit sore because we don't usually hold our arms up, right? But that's okay. And then now I'm going to clean my paintbrush and get, an all right, I just want to, now you decide. You don't have to copy me. You, you know what to do. So what color are you going to put in your middle? I'm going to get a little bit orange because I haven't done that yet. And I just want to see what orange and pink does. I'm just saying. And I like that I have way bigger uh, middles of my, my butterfly wings this time. So much easier when they're bigger. But look, I can still see black show through. Oh. A little bit of white for decorating. So I'm going to clean my paintbrush. And this is a way bigger butterfly, so that teensy tiny speck of white won't work. So I'm still guessing. I have to guess. How much white? I don't know. <laughs> I just poke and see. Oh, it looks like you guys know the sherbet. You know the ice cream that's um, uh, orange flavored ice cream? Sherbet? It looks like that color. You know a push-up pop? You guys had those in the summer? Oh, that was a lot of white came out of that one. That's okay. That's okay. I'm touching it. Shimmer shine. Shimmer shine. Oh, oh. It's like, it's like I pick up the paint and I put it somewhere else and I pick it up and I can put it somewhere else. And it's like, oh, it's like a sponge. I pick it up and drop it off. But I'm not going to put the black right now because they have to dry. Who thinks, who thinks this is coming out better than you thought? Do you like making new colors? It's my favorite. My favorite. And then, oh, another one? Maybe a yellow butterfly with white dots. I'm just saying. I don't know. So I'm going to paint this one yellow. But if it's pure yellow, is it going to need some white to help it? Yeah, yellow's completely see-through because of how they make paint. Am I going to have to fix any of these wings? I don't know. Let me see how good I do drawing. Because sometimes I make my wings way too big with my paintbrush. And I paint it in with the yellow. Look at the black show through. Oh, I don't like it. But I don't have to visit the edges anymore. The edges are nice and smooth. Right? So maybe just stay away from the edges. Now I'm going to get some white. Oh, I have to clean my paintbrush. I always forget. Cause then it keeps my, my white nice and clean. Get the white. My white keeps falling over. It's all the paints on the edge of my cup. Okay, now I'm gonna decorate this with white. So I'm gonna put white in the heart. Look at everybody pause and look up. I just dropped off some boogies of white to it. Right, boop, 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 boop. But now I'm gonna push it around, but I'm not gonna get close to the edges because I'm afraid my edges will get furry. So I'm just for the middly parts. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Oh, look, oh, it's so much brighter. Way cute. Cuter. I look at it, look at even on the camera there. That's even prettier. Yep. Prettier, prettier. Who wants to try making a butterfly all by yourself? Okay, so there. If if you think about it, it's just a a triangle, triangle, V, V, right? Triangle, triangle, V, V. Maybe um, and then I'm gonna put it on top of some of my dots because I don't. I'm 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 not in love with my dots. I can paint over them, but maybe I could put one way up here. Closer to the top of my painting, there's this big hole up here. I'm going to want to try drawing one. You do it with me? I'm going to do it in, um, um, we have to pick our colors. What color are you going to pick? I did a yellow one. I did a pink and orange one. I don't know, pink again. I don't know. Okay, that's my favorite right now. Okay, let me see. So everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy. I know you're busy, watch me. So we haven't drawn one, right? Because they were already on there. But watch, I go, I go a, tri a, a triangle, right? Triangle, V, V. And then didn't we fix, that's terrible. Look how ugly that is. 
and I'm supposed to be an artist. But did remember when we fixed these? Aren't the top ones supposed to be bigger? So I'm going to get more paint. Now that I drew her like skeleton, I'm like, oh yeah, I fixed this one when they weren't balanced. So that means I can come up here and be like, yeah, I want these ones taller. And I want them, okay, okay. I can trust myself. It goes triangle, triangle, V, V. Oh, it also looks like a W <laughs> on the bottom. And what if you put a butterfly on top of a butterfly? They're all flying at us. We don't know which one's in front. They could touch. I see them as butterflies touch. They're all like this. In the front, in the back, in the front, right? Fluttering. And then I clean my paintbrush. Pinch. Because I want to make it brighter. So I get a little bit of white. White! And now I'm not scared to get white because if I put too much white, I can put pink on it. Or whatever color you chose. Right? We're making decisions on our own now. And all we need is the shape of a butterfly. Squish, 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 squish. And then, and then I'm going to put yellow in the middle. Because I liked it last time. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow, 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 yellow. But the yellow looks like an X. That's not as cute as I wanted it to be. Maybe when I add the white, it'll be cuter. Let me see. Oh, it is cuter. It turns the light on. There. You want to try one right here? Lower down? Maybe, maybe, oh, right there? But she has to be smaller. Right? Little to just a little baby one. And this one I'm going to make orange. Wait, no, that one's already orange. Oh, well, I don't care. This is a baby one. That's the mommy one, and this is the baby one. I don't know. Okay, so it goes, but it have to be tiny. It's harder. So I'm going to go triangle, triangle, V, V. Oh, my God, that's terrible. Look at mine. That's so terrible. But after I draw it, then I can go back and fix, right? So I go, okay, the, the top ones were supposed to be bigger. Let me go back. Bigger, bigger. Pokey, poke. Okay, that's better. All right. No, no, no. This one needs to be wider. Okay, fix. Wait, wait. Is that right? Okay. There. Okay. And how did you do that? How did you make one? I don't know. They're just weird shapes. And then I'm going to fill it with the uh, yellow. Clean my... Oh, no, I have to put white on my orange or it won't be as pretty. I have to turn the light on. So what are all these butterflies for, for teaching us? So when we do the bird, it makes more sense. Because does the texture matter when we do our butterflies? Yes. Does the blending colors and being gentle matter? Yes. Does adding a little bit of white so it can be highlighted? Yes. Look how much we're learning just make, so that when we go and do bird, it'll make more sense. Now, look at mine. Everybody pause and look up. I have two little itty bitty bitty baby ones. Itty bitty baby ones. Those are cute, right? Can you make, can you make two more? Just born ones. I have one on there. I'm going to make this one pink. And I turn the light on with the... Oh, I forgot to clean my paintbrush. Man, it's a step I always forget. But it keeps my white clean. And decorate it. Oh, you're adorable little baby butterfly. And then maybe an, an orange one. Okay, that's pretty bad. Let me try again. Uh, one more time. I fix it. And then, is she done? Not until I put a little bit of white on it. Cuteness. Now they sparkle. Who 
noticed when you push hard with your paintbrush, your paintbrush opens and get really big. And who notices when you do it really, really soft, it stays tiny, tiny. So the amount of paint you use, how hard you push, it changes the texture, huh? Who wants to put the little black lines down the middle of your butterflies? Are you scared? Because we could ruin it right now if we're not careful. We could because uh, the black will make a big schmear. So I'm going to get my black. So watch everybody pause. Even if you're busy, watch me real fast. Okay, everybody push pause. So I'm going to, and oh, and I clean my paintbrush and it's very, very pointy. Right? And then how much black for each one? I have to get one minuscule piece of black and then it is just a number one. Do not go like this. Let me show you on a paper plate how to ruin it. So here, I'm gonna make a little line. I just go straight down, number one. Look how skinny that was, right? But watch if I do it up and down. Down, up, down, up, down. What the heck? Every time you go up and down, it gets bigger. Okay, so watch me, I'll get my black and I just go straight down. So watch me, everybody watch. Touch her head to her tummy. One line. Did I go back up? It'll get bigger. So now I have to get another poke of black. Poke, and now I can do another one. From her head to her tummy, done. And then from her head to her tummy, done. Now scribbly up and downsies, it's one stripe, a single stripe. Otherwise it gets bigger and bigger every time we fix it. Stripe, stripe. Oh, that was, I pushed really hard with my paintbrush. Look what happened. Oh. Stripe, stripe, stripe. Okay. And then don't they have little heads? They're just, they're uh, because a, a, a butterfly head would be so tiny. We can use our stick, just like when we did our, um, our dots, watch. And I just put one at the top, poke at the little head. And then look how round and perfect it is because it's like a stamp, like a fingerprint. I just get black on my stick. Poke, poke, poke. Little heads for you, a little head for you, a little circle. And how come I don't use my, my paintbrush part? Because if I use my paintbrush, my paintbrush goes and I cannot get a tiny line. So we use our stick so we can just go and poop for the head. Because they would be really, really tiny on a tiny butterfly like this. Who thinks it looks cute, right? So everybody pause and look up. Look, we did this. This side of the color wheel. Now we're going to flip over. Flip! And do this side of the color wheel. For the birdie. So I could put the lid on my... No, I won't put the lid on my black yet. But I could put the lid on my pink. Don't need it. And my orange yellow but i could save these colors and put them in my plastic baggie and take them home where's my where's my pink there's pink pink slid good job so what colors do we need to make our um to make our birdie I'll show you. Ready? Oops, hey! Painting, don't fall down on me. Stay. <laughs> look, look. See? So, the, the main color is turquoise. She's all turquoise, right? This greeny blue color. But what's her shadow color on her back? Blue. What's the bright color for her tummy? White. But I have to do this so that she has a 3D. It's very tricky. How about if we do the face first? 
no, no, no. Let's do the tail first because no one's going to look at the tail. So if we make the tail ugly, nobody will care. Okay, so we'll do the tail. And look at the tail goes, can fall off the page on the bottom. Nobody cares, okay? So I open up my, oh, take the lid off my turquoise, my blue, and my white. This is why we wanted to keep our paints clean. It's because orange and blue makes brown, right? Who's ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, I'll wait. Oh, I saw two thumbs. Thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, there it is, okay. So we'll do the tail. Okay, this is what I wanna to explain to you. Okay, we kinda did it with the butterflies and we did it with the stick. But look at it, look, it goes like this. We paint the whole, everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy, watch me. It's a turquoise tail. But what part is brightest? The front, so I put white. And then there's still white and I get, wipe off the rest of the white inside the turquoise and it becomes baby turquoise. And then I can go farther and try to run out of white and run out of white in little towers. But then what about the darkness? The dark blue goes in the back and it goes like a row of dark blue and then less blue. And I'm not gonna get more blue paint. I'm gonna try to run out of blue paint. So there's nothing left in the middle but turquoise. You wanna see if you can do it? We haven't done anything like, oh, and they're all little number ones like this. One, 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 one. Texture matters. Okay, so you ready? Don't scribble. She'll be all fluffy. Okay, so it's one, 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 because each little mark is a feather. Okay, so let's find our turquoise. Turquoise. So just stab your turquoise like you're mad. Stab. I got it because we need a lot. I got it. I got it. And I worry about my stick. So everybody pause and look up. How did we outline our stick so we didn't get anything on the stick? I really don't want any tail on my stick. So everybody pause and look up. So I'm going to go in the tail and I go smash. Look, I'm underneath the stick. And I sneak up and I go straight across, not touching the stick. Because if I outline it first, I'm less likely to go outside the lines. There. Now I can go like this. Easy. Am I going to stay inside the sides? No. Those are going to be fluffy. But I just want to get it wet. Stab the turquoise. Okay. Fun. Okay. I don't have to be. I just worry about this line underneath the stick. Okay. And then can we just fill it in with more turquoise? That's our medium. So I stab my turquoise really hard. And remember when I say medium, I mean we need dark, medium, light. And right now we're putting the middle color on. And just go like this, everybody pause and look up in little rows. Watch. One, 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 one. That's a tower, right? Then another row. One, one, one. How come I have to do it like that? We're practicing. One, 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 one. Okay, more, more. I ran out already. Stab my turquoise. <gasps> one, 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 one. I just went down, down, down. Then down, 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 down. Nice. It's all turquoise. And are they are they big feathers or small? Small, right? You should be finishing the tail. We did that, right? One, 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 one. And then you can't see the texture very good because it's all one color. But I know I watched you make tiny little one little ones, right? So good thing we're gonna add our 3D colors so we can see our texture. You wanna see? Let me say it one more time. The front of the of the of the it goes white, and then we're gonna try to there's a nice row of bright right, and then it's gonna try to run out. You wanna see? So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I don't have to clean my paintbrush because this, we're just going to make bird. But I, watch me. I'm gonna, Everybody pause and look up. I'm going to get a little scoop of white. <laughs> right? Watch me. And then I'm going to drop it off down the front of my little birdie right here. Everybody look. Look at me. <gasps> one, 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 one. Oh, that looks terrible. It looks like polka dots. I hate it. I think, oh, I want to go home. I'm going to cry. No, 
I just was dropping off the paint. Now I'm going to do the texture. You ready? Okay, everybody pause and look up because it's the first time I'm doing it. I just want to be able to show you. I'm going to scratch. Scratch at the paints. And I hope turquoise and white live next to each other. Watch this. <gasps> Here I go. I'm going to scratch at it. One, 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 one. Ooh, it sticks out a little bit. One, 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 one. Wait, don't look away. There's still white in my paintbrush. I'm going to do another row next to that and try to run out of white. One, 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 one. Oh, maybe I could run out of white. Okay, there. I must be done. Okay. It's, oh, maybe I should do the white again. I want to show you again. Watch me. Everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy. Wait, don't scribble. Who's scribbling? Watch. One, 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 one. Next row. One, 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 one. Next row. One, 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 one. And what? I'm still running out of paint. Don't stop. One, one, one. Then I ran out. So I have bright, medium, ran out. So you cannot go up and down. You cannot scribble. It's just a number one, a number one, a number one, because texture matters. Okay? Oh, what about the dark blue? Let's do dark blue. Stab your blue. This one. <gasps> the shadow color. So shit, just stab it like you're mad. Stab! <gasps> and where I'm going to drop it off at. Everybody pause and look up. Watch me do it. Don't look away. Everybody watch. <gasps> it's super blue, 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 blue. Then the next row will be less blue. Less blue, less blue, less blue. You see a bunch of blue on my paintbrush, right? But there's no paint on the other side. I am trying to run out of blue paint. Then the next row has even less blue. Then I'm completely out of blue. And I totally ran out of blue. And now it's all gone. But how many versions of blue do I have? Super dark, medium, running out, running out, running out, all gone. And it looked like there was a blob of blue, but you were looking at the front of my paintbrush, the back of my paintbrush turned turquoise. And you can't scrub hard. Each one, 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 one little pieces of feather, and you're trying to run out of dark blue paint. So do you have dark, medium, light? Did you run out of, did you run out of dark blue? So it's the most blue, super blue, then less blue, less blue, less blue. And there were these long towers. That's pretty good. Okay, let's do her tummy. And how many versions of 3D do we need? The dark blue, the turquoise by herself, and the white front. But did I just make a single row of white? No, I did another row next to that and it was less white and another row next to that and it was even less. Okay, who wants to see the body? So the whole body is turquoise, but I want to show you her neck, right? Look at her face, her big round face. It's like a big uh, smile. Her face is big. Right? So let's go like this, like where the little dents are, and just make a smile. There. Like that. And then we get more turquoise. Stab! And I'm going to fill it in. Smash, 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 smash. And now I'm going to, oh, I worry about the stick. That's right. I have to do a nice, perfect line for the above the stick. Oh, now I want a black showing there. And then, how do we fill it in so it has good texture? Not her face. We're going to save that, right? Now we can do her body. And we just stab the turquoise and go one, 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 so it has good texture. Fluffy, fluffy, one, one, one. And we're practicing. Actually, it should probably be like this in towers, right? A row and then another row and then another row. Oh, and then I ran out because it's all dry. So I need more turquoise. Stab! Meow, 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 meow. 
And what if black shows through? Built-in shower shadow. But I'm going in long columns, long columns, because that's how I'm going to put my dark colors and my white down there. Gosh, I had to stop and get turquoise like 20 times. This paintbrush is so tiny. She can only hold so much paint, huh? I like the texture. Puk, puk, puk. And I even have little pieces of black showing though, but those are shadows. And this is just, and we end up touching all this medium anyway, another time when we put the white on there and then the dark blue. So like, oh no, it's not smooth enough. Uh, we go back and we put, we're going to touch this again, right? So where does the white go? The white goes on her tummy. So I'm going to, I'm going to stab my white this time. What? I got a scoop of white. But I don't stir my white because that'll pick up way too much. And it will just make it baby turquoise. But watch. Everybody pause and look up. And I'm trying to make stripes. Look. Stripes of white and turquoise that touch. I'm not trying to make baby turquoise. I just put my white feather and let her sit there. Okay? So I just go, okay, here I go. One, 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 one. There's a row. It's a tower. Wait. Don't stop. Watch me. Watch. Don't look up. Look at me. And then I do another row next to it. They're touching and it's going to be light. Oh, that's not very much white anymore. And I could do another row after that. Oh, look at, oh, oh, it's bright. And I'm still dropping off and I do another row. And I do an, oh yeah, because white is opaque and she's helping my turquoise. But it's most bright in the front and I got all the way to halfway before I even ran out of white. So it's most bright in front. Don't scribble. Who's scribbling? It's one, 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 one. Then one, 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 one. Then one. You're trying to wipe off the white paint? Nope. They're, how big is a feather? It's a tiny, tiny little mark. Okay, now I'm going to do the dark blue. So everybody pause and look up. I'm going to stab my dark blue really, really hard. Watch me stab. Oh my gosh, I've got a sheet club. But where does the dark go? In the back. So I go very, very, very dash, dash, dash. Look at the stripes though. That's pretty cool. Dash, dash, dash. Then I do a row after that. Dash, dash. Oh, that's a lighter blue. Because the turquoise eating it up. And then a less blue. And then less blue. And then I'm running out of blue. And I'm all out of blue. Now you do it. And we don't scribble it in. It's just one, 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 one. Okay, now everybody pause and watch me. Now I got more blue. I'm going to put it underneath her chin like a shadow. One, 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 one. And then I can do a row underneath that. Oh, like a shadow under her, like a beard. There, just a little, little bit under her chin for a shadow. There. So is it dark on her back? And then it got lighter, 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 lighter to the middle. But the brightness is bright. Then less, 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 less. And so it's just turquoise in the middle, right? Okay, now how about her face? Who feels like you understand? Is it darker in the back? Brighter in the front. And just basically turquoise in the middle because we run out of the dark blue and we run out of the white. And so it's just medium in the middle. You ready to do her face? Thumbs up if you're ready for her face. Okay. So let me show you the pieces on the face. Let me show you. Okay. So we're going to do her little beak, right? It, her beak is um, just a little bit of, of uh, 
I think her beak is turquoise, right? And then we're going to do her uh, under, uh, above her head, above her beak, and then below her beak. Look how they're cut in half. That is a texture, and that is a texture. Can you see it? They're two different pieces. Okay, so I'm just going to get turquoise. Just how much turquoise to do a beak so I can stay tiny? Just a speck of turquoise. So I can just, and it's just a little V. Bye, Sharpie. Whoop, whoop, whoop there. And I could put a little bit of white on that. Just a tiny, tiny bit of white because I love 3D. Whoo, I put a little bit of white on it. Oh! But uh, let's cut her face in half. Everybody pause and look up, right? So I'm gonna cut her face in half, like the beak, like there's her, like she's wearing um, across her face, like a like a line. Just a straight line. Because these feathers go up and these feathers go down. That's why. So cut her face in half. Everybody pause and look up at my painting. Look at my painting. Stop what you're doing and look at my painting. Okay, so now I'm going to paint this, this turquoise, the top half of her head going up, 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 look at her little spiky hair, up, 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 up. Okay, now we're gonna get some uh, uh, white, and we're gonna, we're, nope, we're gonna get some, sorry, some blue, and we're gonna put it on the back of her head like this, but we're just gonna make it dark in the back, just like we did on her body. Somebody pause and look up. Ready, so I go, <gasps> I'm just gonna point down. Okay, the back of her head, like I'm, oh, dash, 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 dash. Uh oh, I'm getting closer to the middle of her head. Row after row after row. I'm running out, running out, running out, running out, running out. I need to put little tiny dashes in her head. And then I'm going to get a little tiny poke of white. And I want her hair to stick up. You guys ever seen a, um, a, a blue jay? Let me show you. Her hair goes straight up from her, her beak. So everybody pause and look up. I just got a little speck of white, one minus, watch. I go, oh, <laughs> and I just go flick, 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 and I let the front of her face be shiny like that. Up, 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 <laughs> funny. And then I clean my paintbrush off from the white. I don't want that on there. It's just a little flicker, flicker, and then you touch it a little bit, and it becomes light turquoise, and her hair sticks up a little bit, her little feathers. Okay, then look at my, everybody look and look at my face, okay? So here is my nose, and where is my eye? My eye sits on top of my nose, right? Well, the same as this bird. So right here where the line that we put, that is her eyes, and she wears a mask, and it's a dark blue mask. Look, so right here, I just put a little mask for her eye to be in. Oh, cute. It's a little mask. It only goes to half her head, just to halfway, like a little mask. We can't see her string, so it's just blue. But she needs an eyeball. So I'm going to use my stick and get a poke of black. And where does her eye go? In the middle of her head. She's not a predator. We're predators. Our eye is on the front of her head. She's a bird. So hers are literally on the side of her head. Okay? Because plant eaters have their, their eyes on the side of their head. So I'm going to go right up to this mask with my stick of black. And I put it right in the middle. Like that. That's her little eye. With my stick. A black. OK, 
Hey, now we do the bottom of her face. The bottom of her face, she has a white beard under her beak and black and then the dark dark blue back here. Okay, but we gotta paint it all turquoise. So we just stab our turquoise and we just go, okay. What if you get some of her face feathers on her body? So her head, her head's attached, they touch, right? So we just go, oh, one, 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 fill it all in with the medium, medium, medium. Uh-oh, I don't want to cut, touch her eye. Let me go slow. She's like a ninja turtle. See, she has a mask on, huh? It's so cute. Okay, now let me show you her, uh, her face. Her face goes like this. Look at how much white. Everybody pause and look up. Even if you're busy, watch me. Look, it's very white underneath her. She has a beard. But those little feathers go down, 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 and then under her eye, 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 eye. And then they also can go down onto her body a little bit. Okay, let me show you. So I get white. Poke. So everybody pause and look up. Ready? Oh, you mean it touches her beak? Uh-huh. And then I go one, one, oh, it's so bright. And then I can go back, 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 back underneath her eye, eye, eye. Oh, like she has a funny beard. Then where does the dark blue go? In the back of her head. Oh, they're all attached. And what if I touch her body? It's all the same color. Can't hurt nothing. Let me show you again, because I did it fast. So the white is under her chin, 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 and under her eye, under her mask, and it comes down in like a fan. So it's like a V. So it goes down her chin and under her eye. And then, of course, dash, 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 till you run out, and it turns blurry. And then the dark, well, the dark was on the back of her head and the back of her body. So you're just making it matchy match. Who's, who's doing it really, really soft now? Did you change your texture because it could be really soft and flickety? At first, we push hard. And then as we do it, we're like, wait, I could do it softer than that. I can change the texture a little bit. Good job. Did you finish? Is it cute? If you're still working, you just keep working. If you want to touch up the tail or put a little something, something you can't.